have started counting down to holiday, but you already know that. Uh, and that's pretty much it, really. So you join me in my kitchen. Um, I had planned on showing you how to make my spaghetti bolognese, but we're not having that till the end of the week now. So that went kaput. Um, talking about come dine with me, uh, I sat and thought about what I would do for my starter and main um, and my dessert. Evening would be an evening of uh, different cultures. Uh, when I looked at my menu list, uh, to start off, to, for starters, we would have Indian and I would do something like either onion bhajis or chicken pakoras. And for Maine, we'd go to Italy and I would do spaghetti bolognese with uh, some garlic bread, parmesan cheese. For dessert, I would do my famous key lime pie, um, which always goes down as a treat. Um, but like I said, I haven't had time to make any of them. So I have gone, I thought quickly, I will make my chocolate truffles. But it has slightly gone wrong. Slightly. All right. So um, anyway, this is what I managed to film and put together. So kind of enjoy and like I said, I'll put the recipe in the description. Okay, so I'm going to make my famous uh, chocolate truffles and I'm going to show you how easy it is to do at home. So for this recipe, you will need 300 millilitres of double cream. You will need 150 grams of cooking chocolate. Uh, I'm using dark chocolate just to take, because it's quite creamy anyway. I just find dark chocolates a lot better and I like dark chocolate. And also, um, usually I put Baileys in it, um, but you will need some sort of flavouring. So for this I'm using Caribbean rum. So you're going to take chocolate and just break it up. Take chocolate, break it up into small pieces. Uh, and then you're just going to cut it up into little shreds. Till you end up with something like this. It doesn't need to be cut up finely. It just needs to be cut up a bit smaller than the uh, little squares. So after that, you need to uh, get a saucepan, take your double cream, and you're going to uh, basically heat it up. Have this on a low heat until it Just keep stirring. What you're looking for is just before it gets to boiling point. While waiting for this, you need to get a bowl uh, that is can go in the fridge or whatever. You need to pour your chocolate into here. Is at this point I had camera trouble and it went completely. Once I'd done it, I couldn't redo it, if that makes sense. So I'm going to tell you what you have to do. So once your cream has come just before boiling point, when it just starts to bubble, you then take it off the heat and you put the chocolate in the bowl. You pour the cream over the chocolate and you stir until all the chocolate has melted and you get um, that chocolatey, velvety look. You then add one teaspoon of um, your flavouring, basically. And that I use usually use Baileys, but unfortunately, Dad gave my bottles of Baileys away, apparently. Um, so I had to improvise, and I used um, coconut rum. Okay. 
So I've left my mixture in overnight, so it was kind of so once it's solid, basically you can take it out, uh, and then for the next part you are going to need some for your coating of your truffles. So I have got um, some popping candy and some chocolate sprinkles. You're also going to need um, a melon baller or something round like this to shape your thing. So you're going to take your mixture, spoon or whatever and you're just going to scoop out what you want. Roll them up. But it hasn't worked. <laughs> it's not worked. Mine's not set. Typical. And it's totally gone wrong. Basically, what you do is you scoop it out, and it should be like a solid chocolate, and you roll it up and you dip it in your things. But mine has not set. Do you know what? I just give up. I give up trying to show you how to do different things in the kitchen because they go completely wrong. So Sphere, you have been you, and today, and this week, I have been this person.